going on, everybody? I am Elizabeth. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. I'm Aaron, and good to see you. Yes, welcome here. You can't see them, though. I can see them. Oh, okay. Well, welcome to the Grid Network, where Aaron is incredibly creepy. All right, have you guys ever heard of YouTuber Crazy Russian Hacker? I had to look down to remember his I name. I have so not. I did not before today, but he does, like, cool science experiments and stuff like that. So he did a cool experiment to show you just how bad smoking really is for you. So he used a piece of card, a vacuum cleaner, a coffee filter, and a cigarette to illustrate how many unhealthy chemicals actually end up in your body after smoking just one cigarette. Yeah, this is one of those things you feel like we all should know, but sometimes we need to be reminded, you know, growing up in high school, it's like they teach you a bazillion times, but we're getting refreshed on the course. Exactly. It's completely different when you like actually see it. So I think like we'll just let him tell you, you guys can check Ooh, it out. I'm excited. Look how dark it is on this side and this side. Both sides are dirty. Oh my goodness, and it goes into your lungs and gives you cancer. That's what gives you cancer. One of the coolest things to come out of entertainment, in my opinion, in a very, very long time, X-Files is coming back for a limited time six episode run on Fox. I am excited because everybody is returning. Yes, Fox Mulder and Dana Scully will be seeking it once more. The X-Files is returning for a six episode limited series on Fox that will be that will have David Duchovny back, which I know you loved from I Californication. Do. Yes. And also Gillian Anderson, who I will say has aged very well. Always had a little crush on her, not gonna lie. I'd say she's you have one a crush of the on, like everybody that you've seen in a show. That's true. I'm attracted to <laughs> most women. It's true. But I'm not single. But yeah, you guys, this is really all the news there is, but I know everybody is super excited about it. So, I mean, we're going to be checking this out. The production will begin this summer, but Fox hasn't set an actual time for the series to air. Most people are saying it should be closer to the beginning of 2016, but they're, they're saying that's not going to completely exclude late 2015. But I still believe the aliens are real and they will come down and I will be here to embrace them when they do, along with all the X-Files fans out there. But now... Back to tech with Elizabeth. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Techland, everybody. All right, Google is working on a new project called the Pony Express that's going to make it easier for you to pay your bills. So you can actually pay them directly through Gmail. So instead of having to go to like a company's website or things like that, you can just literally pay your bills as you get them in your email. I like that because normally most people are just, I'm, I'm pretty much logged into like my Google account all throughout my day oh, yeah. on everything. It's kind of like my hub for everything I do. Log on into Gmail, I'm good. Yeah, just make it quick and easy. My concern is like the privacy issue type thing with that, but the news service is scheduled to start in the fourth quarter and it's not clear whether Pony Express is a code name or if it'll actually be used as the real name okay. when it goes off. But with it, Google Google could suck in the type of financial data that would allow it to expand into new businesses. So not just paying bills, but you know, like credit card bills and payment history. I gotta and say, I like that name Pony Express. I'm kind of hoping they keep it. I know, I did think it that was like pretty cool. It has like a vintage it's catchy. yet new feel. You I love like that it. vintage. I do, I love I know, that retro stuff. all day, yes. But it would also be a gateway into industries such as personal finance or lending, and the data could also be used to refine how adver advertisements are targeted, which we know is popular on Google, yeah. to individuals on Google, YouTube, and other partnering sites and things like that. Um, so it, the document features like a walk by walk guide, but you'll get more information. As it gets closer, we will fill you guys in. Very cool, it's like a gateway drug for paying bills. I love gateway drugs. And here's a segue, that was no segue, but we're going to gaming anyway. Terrible, Aaron. All right, last but not least is something kind of simple. It was actually teased, I'd say about six months ago, but everybody's starting to talk about this what? again. Elizabeth, you might like this. There actually is, is a game coming out. It is on Kickstarter and there's only three days left, which was why everybody's talking about it. And it's called Slain, S-L-A-I-N. And it's a very cool, I'll read you guys what actually the company is. They did meet it. their goal though, right? Yes, so it's called Wolf Brew Games is the company that is developing this. And like I said, guys, there's only three days left. Um, 878 backers with almost $16,000. I think they only asked for 12, right? 15. 
Oh, they asked for 15? Yes. Oh, okay. So here's what they say. Prepare to be slain. Our homage to the gory hack and slash games of the 80s and 90s. We promise stunning visuals and gore galore. It, Elizabeth, I'm telling you, you would actually like this game. Like this game. It's very much like a Super Nintendo style okay. Castlevania type game. Very dark, good slash feeling. I think that's so, a dark game I'd actually like. I, I really yeah. do think you'd like it, but we want to show you guys the, the little trailer. It's not very long. It's nothing crazy, but we just feel like you guys need to see it because if you guys do want because to back it. Because we said so. <laughs> now's the time to back it. So you guys enjoy it and enjoy the rest of your day, you guys. Again, I'm Erin. I'm Elizabeth. We'll talk to you guys next time here soon at The Grid Network. Enjoy this trailer. Bye.